So this clip is from just a few hours ago on French television, and there's there's an interview that they conducted with the uh, deputy head of the Duma, which is the Russian parliament. And I must say his French is is exemplary. It's very, very good. He speaks almost you know like perfectly like a native. Um, and I'm going to translate what what's being said. It, it, it is unbelievable. Honestly, unbelievable. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let's go. On s'en fout de son opinion. Vous vous foutez de ce que dit Emmanuel Macron. On s'en fout de son opinion. We do not care about his opinion. He's talking about Macron. Vous vous foutez de ce que dit Emmanuel Macron. Exactly. And then the journalist says, you, do, you don't care. You don't give a crap about what Emmanuel Macron is saying. And he says, yes, exactly. Exactement. Et quand il vous dit qu'il est prêt, éventuellement, à ne pas se fixer de limites. On s'en fout de ces... <laughs> and then when he says, the journalist asks him, and when Emmanuel Macron, the French president, says that he is ready to, you know, basically, um, you know, he, about the war in Ukraine, to, to just get rid of all... Uh, uh, all kinds of limits or, or caps and just go all out, you know? Basically, it's a threat. He says, I, we do not care. We literally do not care. The limit. On s'en fout de Macron, de ce qu'il dit Macron. On s'en fout <laughs> de limit de Macron. <laughs> we do not care about Macron's limits. We do not give a crap about Macron. We do not care about what Ma Emmanuel Macron says. Macron, et on va tuer. La France reste une puissance nucléaire. Tout à fait. And then he says, the journalist says, but France is a nuclear power. Tout à fait, avec 200 missiles. <laughs> and he says, yeah, with about 200 missiles. <laughs> Remember that the Russians, I think, have the uh, largest number of nuclear missiles. They certainly have the best um, in the world. Uh, et donc, on va, on va tuer tous les soldats français qui vont venir au sol ukrainien. We will kill every French soldier that comes uh, to Ukraine. That's what he said. Tous. Every Parce single one. Il y en a, durant le conflit en Ukraine, Because right now in, the, in this Ukraine war, there are 13,000 mercenaries, dont 367, uh, of which 367, Français, are, are French, 367 are French citizens, et dont 147 ont déjà tué. and of which 147 have already been killed. Donc, il y en a 147 citoyens de la France qui ont été tués en Ukraine. So there are 147 French citizens who have been killed in, Russia, uh, in, in Ukraine. Son opinion, et tout le monde, peut-être, ont déjà tué. Donc, il y en a 147 citoyens de la France qui ont été tués en Ukraine. Et on va tuer tout le monde. And we're going to kill everybody. Vous inquiétez pas. Do not worry. Oui. Make no mistake. Il menace de tuer tout le monde et il donne donc aussi des chiffres. Bah, inédit, hein, qu'on n'avait pas. Il affirme que euh, il y a 13 000... <laughs> that, that journalist was like, he, he couldn't say anything. Even these two, they don't know what to say. They're just like, yeah, they're talking about the figures, basically, that he cited. mercenaires, parmi ces mercenaires, 367 Français et 147 d'entre eux de ces Français qui auraient été tués. Voilà, Patrick Sau sera avec nous. <laughs> I mean, I love him. I love him. Uh, Premièrement, vraiment, son français est excellent. He, he really speaks French very well. You know, French is... Uh, I was having this argument, <laughs> with, with, with this debate with someone the other day. We were talking about French, the status of the French language uh, today. And, you know, I, I, I was basically saying, well, you know, English is obviously the... the and this is ironic, because the term um, lingua franca, which means the, the, the common tongue, is it means... La French language in Latin, <laughs> but so it's a bit ironic. But I was saying English is the lingua franca. It's the the you know predominant language in science and literature, in international politics and everything. Um, and and they were they this person was telling me well you know it, it's still it, it well well viewed of course in 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 certainly in diplomatic circles to be able to speak French uh, as an added bonus. It's still seen as something special. Um, and and I, I, I do speak French myself. I speak it fluently. I was educated in French, but I, I still think, you know, it doesn't have the weight that it used to. It really doesn't. But yes, okay, it still has some, some flair to it. But so I'm saying this because this guy's French is very good. He's either lived in France or he's had some education in France. He, this guy really, really speaks well. And it's so refreshing to not just hear him speak well uh, in French in general, but the way he speaks. I love being, you, as you guys know, I love bold, direct, frank, honest dialogue. 
And he was straight up like, you will not come to Ukraine. We will fucking kill you. <laughs> this is how you have to speak to imperialists because they only understand violence. And it's very regrettable. I, I, I certainly regret this because I don't wish the world to be so. I wish it were more diplomatic, ironically. But, um, you know, they, they really don't understand. The imperialists, the Zionists, the invaders, the thieves, the, the, the criminals who cross oceans, uh, skies, and seas in order to seize the assets of others. You can go ahead and, and, and attribute that to me. <laughs> they, are, they are the biggest criminals on the face of the planet. And unfortunately, diplomacy doesn't work with them. It's very, very sad because a lot of lives could be saved that way. The Ukraine war could have been avoided. The, the entire Palestinian conflict could have been already resolved. I mean, the Palestinians just giving half their land away was scandalous, uh, honestly. And it still wasn't good enough. It's never good enough for them because they're thieves. That's what imperialists do. And this is how you talk to them. Excellent. J'adore. <laughs>